The second secret is using unorthodox and hidden strikes that are based upon natural body movements, and my favorite strikes are hammers. When I first started learning hammers, I was a little reserved. They're unconventional, look weird sometimes, and I questioned the validity of them. The validity of them. <laughs> but after a few short months of studying them, I started to recognize their effectiveness. What I truly began to appreciate about hammers is that they came at weird angles that confused my opponents and allowed me to set up follow-up strikes and takedowns. If you know me, then you know I love to dominate the chaos zone and force my opponent into a down and dirty combat situation. And hammers are a great way to do that. So the first two hammers we're gonna look at are both internal and external hammers from an offensive and defensive perspective. Let's start breaking down hammers. And as you know, I love hammers because they're this great destructive tool to enter in, get close to our opponent, uh, but they also come at weird angles and very sometimes hard to pick up if you're not used to having them thrown at you. So uh, we're gonna use our internal and external hammer from both an offensive and defensive perspective. Let's start with offensive. Now I'm gonna start off with a jab. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put you over here so nice and close to the camera. So I'm gonna throw a jab. I'm just looking to get a reaction or tag him, all right? And then I'm gonna use an internal hammer to just kill his lead, all right? And how we do that is I'm gonna step forward with my right leg and drop a hammer at the same time. Now my left hand is loaded right near my cheek and I take a left, foot, left step to the front, drop my external hammer, then right over the top, I throw an elbow, boom, to finish him off. So again, from an offensive perspective, I throw that jab, I walk, it, walk through step, hammer down, step again, external hammer, and then my right elbow comes right over the top and drops it. So again, jab, bow, bow, bow. Sorry about that, did I catch you? Okay. Nice and smooth, I don't wanna hurt Leon here. Jab. Now, what's really important about hammers, we're not reaching for hammers. When I step in, you'll see my hand is really nice and close to my cheek and elbow in, and I just turn into it like I'm gonna throw a, like a right hook. I just hammer down. And now my other hand unwinds to his head. All right, so again, jab, boom. Now I do like, I can just unwind to his head without moving my feet. It's nice to have a good step in to bring the power to your hammer and then finish with that elbow. One more time offensively. I throw a jab, internal hammer, external hammer. Let's put that internal, external, offensive hammer drill, that was a lot of words, uh, into a mitt drill, okay? So first thing you do, Leon's gonna give me a jab. Boom. I'm gonna flip my mitt right here so he hits that internal hammer with a walkthrough, bam. I also step back at the same time to give him some space, open up the mitt for his external hammer, bam, and step back so he can hit his elbow at the end. Again, jab, internal, external, bam. Jab. Internal, external, bam. One more time. Jab, internal, external, bam. Nice finish. It's so good. Let's do it one more time, Leon. Yeah. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Very, very nice. Uh, from an offensive perspective, we started with the jab. Now I want to defend the jab with our internal hammer, external hammer, and come back with the elbow. So as Leon throws the jab, I'm going to hold it out there for a second. Okay. We're going to use our internal hammer combined with a walkthrough step. Bam. All right, that clears the jab, so this is called killing the lead. So a little more aggressive, boom, coming down. And now my left hand is loaded. I step to the middle, my left hand, we're right back to where we were before, drop the elbow over the top. So again, boom, boom, bang. Now I'm trying to be uh, nice to Leon, but let's be honest, after you take a few hammers to this side of the arm, uh, it starts to suck over time, you know, you just really get beat up. That's why we do a lot of tri-attack training, we wear a lot of elbow pads, and of course gloves too, we're being a little uh, bare knuckle today. Uh, but if you are gonna do this a lot, I definitely recommend some elbow pads and some uh, gloves because this uh, they, they do take a toll, okay? So one more time, he throws that jab, walk through step, okay? Now I'm gonna drop that external hammer over the top, and then I finish my right elbow. Okay, one more. And now let's have Leon do a few on the mitts. Uh, so in using mitts, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna extend my pad fairly out, fairly out towards Leon, aiming right at his face. I don't want to be a disservice to him. And then he's gonna hit that internal hammer with a walkthrough. Boom. I step back there and that beat. His rough hand is loaded. He drops the external hammer and then walks right in for that elbow again. All right? So, boom, boom. Very nice. Again. One more. Very good. Okay, so yeah, that's your hammers. Uh, quick snippet of hammers. 
uh, your internal and external hammers. We have six hammers in the system, uh, but they are highly effective, uh, as you could quickly see, uh, for getting in, doing some destructive damage, and of course, finishing up with some nice elbows, which we love.